Today I want to walk you through some Ardha Chandrasana and Chapasana prep. I think this is a really wonderful sequence because it's an opportunity for students to work the same muscle memory either on the ground or they can come up to work the balance. So we'll start off with either a block or a book or something that students can find for support underneath their palm and your yoga mat. Begin by coming onto hands and knees. Finding stability in your tabletop. Extend your left toes to the back of your mat, keep your toes connected, and then ground your back heel down. You can bring your support underneath your right palm, and your palm is going to come a little bit in front of your shoulder. Your bottom right shin can stay as it is, or it might start to open up to the side for stability. Press down into your right palm, and as you inhale, start to expand your arm up. Students might keep your palm a little bit forward, or you can slide it in. Continue to press down as you reach up. And then bring your top hand down to your hip, shift your gaze down towards your bottom palm, shift to the toes of your back foot, and with control, start to lift your back leg high. Yes, active press, so really pressing out that back foot. You can stay here with hand on hip, or you might start to expand your top arm up, an option to shift your gaze. Take another inhale. Exhale. Release your top hand to your hip. Release your lifted leg back down to the ground. Swivel to your toes. Swivel your bottom shin. Both hands come underneath your shoulders. Keep your left toes tucked behind you. Press down into your palms. Draw your belly button in and up. And then hug your right knee in towards your chest. On the inhale, extend your right leg high up and back. Three legged dog. Exhale, step through with control, low lunge. Find your block, block, bring it to the front again, ground your back heel. This time, press down, rise up, warrior two. Inhale, straighten your front leg, exhale, start to lean forward, and then down, trikonasana. Think of contracting your upper ribs, so notice it does that arch, top rib pulls down to hip, find that strength, and then expand your top arm up. Another inhale. Exhale. Release your top hand to your hip. Shift your gaze down. Bend into your front knee. Locate your support here. Start to heel toe your back foot in. And as we did earlier, start to shift up onto your toes and then lift up Ardha Chandrasana. Ground down into your base foot. Extend through your back leg. Option to lift your top arm up. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale. Continue to find extension through the crown of your head. As you exhale, hand comes to hips. Gentle bend into your base leg. With control, step your back foot all the way back. Inhale to your reverse warrior. Exhale, windmill your palms down, shift to the toes of your back foot, step back to plank. Drop down to hands and knees. So that's the first variation. I like to flow through that to give students the feeling of that expansion while keeping it low to the ground. We can also work this prep for Shapasana. So I'll show that variation as well. Taking it to the other side. So this time I'm going to extend my right leg back, ground my heel, and again, find my support. So same setup, you can keep the shin parallel, you might open it to the back, press down, find the lift. Shift yourself forward onto your toes, lift your back heel. So in this second variation, students can stay here and work, or if they'd like, they might bend into their knee, find their back foot, press their heel back, and start to expand their heart forward. Take an inhale. Exhale. With control, release your foot. Extend your arm. Extend your leg. Hand comes to hip. Lower your top leg down. Shift to your toes. 
Hands come under shoulder, shin comes back under. Same action here. Keep your back toes pressed, press down into your palms, hug your left knee in, and then inhale up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through with control. Ground your back heel, get your support ready. Press down, rise up, warrior two. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Heel toe your back foot in, back hand to back hip. Find the extension, so this way students can feel as their hip shifts back, arm reaches forward, and then bring your hand down to the floor, your shin or a block, top arm reaches up. Trigonasana. Again, looking for that top body control, so we're not dropping, there's an active pulling in and up, active extension. One more inhale. As you exhale, release your top hand down to your hip, shift your base down, bend into your front knee. Front palm finds your support. Start to walk that back foot in, shift to your toes, and slowly reach up. Press your back heel to the back, press your palm down, stay here, or you might start to extend your top arm. If students are working with a bend, they can take a bend into their knee, find their back foot, and then press back as they start to expand their heart. Another deep inhale. Exhale. We want to release with control for safety. Release your foot, release your palm, hand to hip, Bend your base leg with control, step back, slide to reverse, and then exhale, windmill down. Shift to your back toes, step back to plank, and release down. Thank you for exploring different ways to prep for Ardhachandrasana and Vrchapasana. Both of these are really expansive postures and I think made much more accessible by staying low to the ground and playing around with that first to build the confidence in either yourself or your students before we start to bring it up onto a balance. So play around with it, have fun with it, and let me know what you think. Namaste.